Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Total Angrezi. Do subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to get an update for the next video and do give me a thumbs up if you like my video. So today we are going to do the topic A, and and the, its uses, its explanation, some meanings, some examples, all of that I'm going to cover. Now, A and the are very confusing articles. A lot of people are still mixing up articles and you have a lot of writing apps available these days that help you correct your articles. But what about in your communication? You still end up making mistakes with using the correct article. So it may seem very hard, but I have made a very easy breakdown to understand the use of these articles and I've given examples with practice sentences. So I'm sure this video will help you clear all your confu confusions on the use of articles A, AN and THE. Before we do articles, you need to know two concepts, vowels and consonants. Which are the vowels of in English language out of the 26 alphabets? A, E, I, O, U are the vowels. The rest of the letters are all consonants, which are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, K L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, E, I, O, U are vowels. To understand the use of articles, you need to know the vowels and consonants. Remember the vowels, everything else are consonants. Let us begin with understanding why do we even use articles in English language? Why can't the sentence just be he is nice person? That is a wrong sentence. You have to say he is a nice person. There's only one simple reason for this that you need to modify the nouns. Means you need to give them a reference. The nouns will seem dangling if there is no modification or reference to them. So in simple terms, if I want to say, we want to identify if the noun referred in the sentence is generic or specific. Means is it something that is general or is it something particular that I'm talking about? When I say he is nice person, I am talking about a general nice person. It's a generic thing. So I'm saying he is a nice person. So this is adding more reference to the noun person. Let us begin with the use of article A. Article A is used before words that have consonant sounds. Sounds. Remember sounds. It is an indefinite article because it speaks about a general idea. For example, after a long day, a good night's sleep does wonders. So when I'm saying long, l, l is a consonant. So I use a. A good night's sleep. G. G is the G makes the sound G, which is a consonant. Therefore, you use A. After a long day, a good night's sleep does wonders. Should I bring a gift to the party? You're talking about something very general. You are not saying, uh, you know, probably something specific like I'm going to bring this item or that that item. You're saying something general. A gift is a general thing. So that is why you're using a. So it is an indefinite article, which means you cannot define what exactly the idea is. You're talking about something that is general. So I hope there is no confusion in understanding the use of article A. Remember, it is used before nouns that have a consonant sound and it is indefinite because it is speaking about something general. Let's move on to the use of Article AN. Article AN is used before words that have vowel sounds. Remember our vowels A, E, I, O and U. If the noun you're referring to has a vowel sound in the starting letter, then it is, then you are supposed to use article AN. Now it is also an indefinite article, just like article A, because it is talking about a generic idea, it is not talking about something in particular or in specific. For example, carry an umbrella with you. It might rain today. So when I'm saying an umbrella, you, the phonic sound for you is a. And a is an, is a vowel. Therefore you say carry an umbrella. 
Here's another example. I will make an apple pie for the cooking contest. A makes the sound a. A is a vowel sound. A is a vowel. Therefore, you use an. The book, The Diary of a Young Girl, is an autobiography. When I say autobiography, A again is making the vowel sound. Therefore, you use the article an. So, you need to remember to use these articles A and an before vowel and consonant sounds respectively. I'm talking sounds, not letters. Finally, use of article the. Now, article the specifies the noun in reference. That is why it is also called as a definite. It, it is more, it is a definite article. So, therefore, it is a definite article. Now, it can be used for singular, plural or uncountable nouns. How? Are you going to the grand ball this weekend? Now, I am talking about something specific. There is only one grand ball that is happening over this weekend and I am referring to it specifically. Therefore, I use the. Please hand me the red bottle of water. So, I am talking about only the red bottle. I am not asking you for any particular bottle of water. I am asking you for red. I am being very specific. Therefore, I use the article the. The sun is the brightest star in our solar system. As of now, we do not know of the existence of any more suns. So when I say sun, we know that there is only one that I am talking about. I am talking about specifically the sun. Therefore, I use the article the. Now, there are some common mistakes that we make because we confuse uh, the use of articles with vowel consonants and vowel consonant sounds. For example, this is a honorable moment. Now, why people make a mistake is because people do not know, many people do not know that H in this word is silent. We cannot say honorable moment. It is honorable moment. So, O sound comes from O and O is a vowel. Therefore, you have to use the article AN. This is AN honorable moment. Another example. I work in an UK based company. Now U is definitely a vowel but why can we not use an over here? Because when you use, when you use, when you say UK, it makes the sound Y. Y comes from the letter Y and Y is not a vowel. Y is a consonant. Therefore, you have to say I work in a UK based company. Which is why I have been specifically say, been saying that you have to look out for vowel sounds and consonant sounds. For which you need to know your phonics very well. Another example. My TV has a LCD screen display. When I say E, L, E, E comes from the letter E. The sound E comes from the letter E. So my TV has an LCD screen display. That is why, again, look out for the right sound. Last example, there is a HR department in my organization. This is also wrong. When I'm saying H, A, again comes from the letter E. H, it's not H, it's H. So when I say A, it comes from the letter E. And E is a vowel. Therefore, we use the article and before vowel sounds and hence we say there is an HR department in my organization. I hope this makes things better in understanding why we sometimes do not use and before vowels and how you exactly you have to find out what sound it is using and accordingly use the right article with it. Now, sometimes you have countable and uncountable nouns. Now, how do you use your articles with them? When I say, please give me a water. Now, water is uncountable. You cannot count water. So, therefore, you have to say, please give me some water. Here, you cannot use an article. On the contrary, if I give it a unit, for example, say, I am giving it a unit in bottle of water or say a quintal or liter. There, I use an article. For example, please give me a bottle of water. So, I have given water a unit. I am measuring it in terms of a bottle. And therefore, here I can use a bottle of water. Uh, similar is the case with ice cubes. You try and use ice cubes in a sentence. Ice cube is uh, somewhere or the other uncountable. But if you give it a unit, then you will be able to use an article with it. 
I hope you can come up with sentences using ice cubes on your own. Now there is also something called a zero article. Now sometimes, and, and you can understand the use of zero article, you can understand where, which sentence needs a zero article, only when you become well versed with the language and it, it comes only with practice. There is no way to know this. For example, sometimes articles are not used, they are not required. I studied the Spanish language in school, that is wrong. I studied Spanish language in school, now that is right. Now here you do not need the article the before Spanish language, it, it, is, it is unrequired and therefore the sentence has zero article. Let us have a lunch together, that is again wrong. Let us have lunch together. Here also the sentence does not demand for an article and therefore it has a zero article. Like I said, this will come only and only with practice. There is no sure way of knowing how a sentence can have a zero article. But this is highly occasional. It doesn't happen every time. I have listed out a few practice sentences from you starting from 1 till 12. Pause the video at these sentences. Try and answer them. I'm sure they're very simple. After you have watched the video, these sentences will become very easy to answer. Pause the video and you can come back to the sentences and try to solve these 12 practice sentences that I have listed out for you. That's all for today, guys. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Comment in the comment section below if you want to know the answers to the practice questions that I have given.